Welcome back to another chemistry video. In this video, I'll be talking about ice, how to make ice cream at home and the chemistry of ice cream. Below, I have listed the ingredients that I've used to make homemade ice cream. I've used 150 milliliters of heavy whipping cream, 150 milliliters of organic 1% low-fat milk, 30 grams of sugar, and 10 milliliters of vanilla extract. In order to freeze the cream mixture into ice cream, I have used two trays of homemade ice cubes, which weigh about 370 grams, 125 grams of Morton Rock Salt, one medium-sized Ziploc bag, one large-sized Ziploc bag, and towels to keep my hand warm. Below, I have listed the following steps that I have used to create ice cream. I First, I mixed sugar, milk, whipping cream, and vanilla in the medium-sized bag before sealing. Second, I put about 25 ice cubes into the large bag to make it weigh about 370 grams. Third, I've used a thermometer to measure the ice temperature within 30 seconds. Fourth, I've used a spoon to add 125 grams of rock salt to the ice cubes. Fifth, I use, I've put the medium science bag into the large bag. And sixth, I zipped the large bag tightly. Seventh, I put a towel on both hands and hold the, held the large bag by the zipper area. The eighth step I've so required me to shake the large bag from side to side for about 10 minutes to check if the materials in the medium sized bag has solidified into ice cream. The ninth step was to unzip the large bag and use the thermometer to measure the temperature of the ice salt mixture immediately. The tenth step was to the tenth and final step was to take the medium-sized bag out to taste the ice cream and spoons. I've run multiple ice cream making experiments and I'm going to evaluate the method. The experiments went successful as my family enjoyed the first ice cream. I experimented with different salt amounts in the ice with other parameters constant to help evaluate the method of ice cream making process at home. I've used about 125 grams, 110 grams, and 100 grams of rock salt were added to the large bag with different trials with other materials and procedure remain the same. More rock salt yields lower temperature and a quicker gel of ice cream. The method is robust enough as it produced ice creams if salt and ice are adequate. The chemistry is crucial for making ice cream. The main chemicals involved in the process include sugar, milk, water, vanilla, and salt. Sugar is made out of sucrose, which contains of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Milk consists of mostly water and carbohydrates, fat, protein, and vitamins. Vitam vanilla contains mostly vanillin. The two major chemicals used to freeze the cream mixture is the rock salt, which is solid sodium chloride crystals, with ionic bonds, and ice cubes, which is solid water with polarized covalent bonds. Air is also needed for ice cream making. The typical freezing point of fresh water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, when water molecules bond together to form crystalline structures of solid ice. At the freezing point, water molecules enter and leave the solid at the same rate. However, when salt is dissolved into water, Sodium and chloride ions disrupt the equilibrium and delays the process of water freezing. Sodium chloride ions and sodium chloride molecules will replace water molecules. Thus, less water molecules are available at the solid-liquid interface to form crystalline ice, which lowers the freezing point of water containing salt. Thank you so much for listening to my presentation and hope you'll be able to, hope you learned how to make ice cream all by yourself now.